Welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Tadisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about expandable list view. So in the earlier video we have talked about list view, right? So you can display the components in the list format. So let's say you want to display some uh, list of languages you like. Maybe you want to display some uh, list of actors you like. So you can, you can use list view, right? Uh, in this video, we'll see how to expand the list. So let's say you have a sublist inside a list. So let's say you have a language name and inside that language you have the topic names. So example, I have created that app here. This is just, just a demo app. So this is my app here. If I open this app, so you can see we have Java and we have C, right? So that's the list here, right? So that's the list here. So if I expand this Java, so you can see we have the topics, the subtopics, which is uh, super encapsulation. Then we have uh, methods. And if I expand C, it shows procedure. It's, it, it shows pointers and array, right? So, so let me again do it. So we have Java in the, in, inside Java, we have super encapsulation method, then we have procedure, pointers, and array inside C, right? So this is expandable, right? Because you can collapse it and you can expand. So you can see we are collapsing it and then we are expanding it, right? So if we, we can also provide the click on the child. So when, when I click on encapsulation, so you can see a message there, which is Java colon encapsulation, which prints the Java, which is the group name, and we have a child here. So let me repeat the terms. So this Java and C, they are called as group. Okay, they are called as group names. And the internal part, they are called as child. So this child will belong to a group, right? So this is one list, which is super encapsulation method. This is one list, which, which is under Java. Okay, then we have procedure pointers and array, which is inside C. So this part, these are called a child, and the C and Java, they are called as group. Okay, we can also call them as parent, okay, because child belongs to parent, right? And if I click on the child element, it will show both things, the group name plus the child name, right? So this is what we want to build here. Now question arise, how to, uh, how to build this? So what we want in the output is, so we have a list here. So we want to create a list, so this is, a, this is my phone, in which you have a parent element, which is your group name. So let's say this is Java. And inside this, you have three child. So, you know, uh, I made sure that the child will be in the center. So there's no logic of putting your values into center, right? But still, just to specify those, those are child elements, I have taken those things into center. So you can see Java and C, they're taking the left assign, left alignment, and this child element, they are taking the center alignment, right? So uh, to do that, so we have, uh, we have two parent, one is Java and C, and then we have some topics, right? So this is your language name. So Java is the language, or oh, C will be at the uh, left alignment. So we have Java and C, which will be on left side. And then you have this elements, which is on the right side, right, or, or the center. Now to create this, we require three XML files. So the first XML file, so basically we require three layout resources. So the first resource will be the this this list or this view here okay so for this we have to create one layout okay let's say we call them as the main layout so that's the main layout then for the the group we have to create a layout so we'll say this is least parent because they will be responsible to list the so to handle the list of so to handle this layout okay so this is one this is one layout and every child we'll have a layout which is which we will call as list child. So in total, we'll be having three layouts. One is main, then we have list parent, then we have list child, okay? So this thing here, which is Java, it is a layout of list parent. Then we'll be having a child, which is least child. And don't worry, we'll be seeing this once we start with the practical. So in the implementation, we'll try to implement all this stuff, okay? And uh, there's one more thing. Before continuing with this, let me ask you a question for today's session. In fact, in every session, I ask you some questions. You have to answer those in the comment section. And today's question is, uh, list any three features, list any three features which are there in C and it is not there in Java or we don't use that in Java and list three features or two features which is there in C 
or which is there in Java but not in C. Okay, so two features which is there in C, not in Java, and two features which is there in Java, not in C. Okay, let's see who answers that question. Okay, now come back. So we have, so we will be doing this stuff in the practical session. Okay, so we have main, we have to create three views. One is main, least parent, and child, uh, least child. To process this, to, to get this data, what we'll be creating is, so what we have in the parent, so we ha what we have in the main is the expandable list view, okay? So this is the component available in Android Studio. So what you have to do, you just have to create a design and on the left side, in the container section, you will find expandable list view, just drag it on the screen. So you will get a list view or expandable list view on the design page. Then on the design page, we need to create a list parent. We need to take list parent and list child. How to do that? We need to use a main, we need to use the main activity. So this is this with this file name will be activity underscore main. So we need to create, a, we will be having a file which is main activity, right? Which is your Java file. Now inside this Java file, you have to create object of expandable list view. Now we need to create uh, two things. The first thing will be the list of uh, the group, right? So we have to create a list of elements. So it will be Java C, it will be inside a list, normal Java array list, right? So we can have multiple elements there. In fact, in my video, I will be talking about only two elements. Let's say you want to create five, six elements. You can put all those values inside one list. And then for the child, we have to create a hash map because every child will, will belongs to a group, right? So we have to also mention the hash map there because hash map will have two things, the key and the value. So your value will be your list elements and key will be your group ID, right? Again, we'll see how to do that once we start the practical. So basically we require two things, array list and hash map, okay? Now, once we have these two elements inside this, you need to put these values inside your list. But hold on, it will not directly work. As we know in the list view, we have to use some adapters. Here also, we need to use some adapters. And the adapter is expandable list adapter. We have to use that to, in order to assign these values on, the, uh, on, the, on, the, on your layouts, okay? So we need to use an adapter which is list, uh, expandable list adapter. And the problem is uh, expandable list adapter itself is an interface. So we need to search for a class which implements that. And we, we need to use that thing also, okay? So the, the only thing is it's not that difficult, but the video, the practical video is a bit longer. So you have to have the patience and you have to understand that we'll be implementing all those stuff here, okay? So yeah, that's it from the expandable list view theory. In the next video, we'll talk about the implementation of it. It will be a bigger video than this, of course, because we'll be talking about the implementation. So thanks for watching and do subscribe and do answer that question of C and Java. So thank you.